Amazon has blown minds with its announcement that the company was experimenting with drone delivery. Not to be outdone, UPS said it too was exploring the idea. So if drones become commercially viable, who benefits? Hong Kong-based DJI is the largest maker of the small, unmanned aerial system. DJI is founded and run by people that have a passion for remote-controlled helicopters and experts in flight control technology. With 500 employees and offices in Europe and North America, the company is already well known for its camera-carrying drones. The drones are used for aerial photography, search and rescue team surveillance, as well as pleasure and amateur use. San Diego-based General Atomics is privately owned and one of the major donors to the Congressional Unmanned Systems Caucus known as the Drone Caucus. The biggest users of drones in the U.S. so far are border states, and General Atomics supplies and maintains the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol's 10 Predator drones. Founded originally in 1955 as a division of General Dynamics, General Atomics and its affiliated companies now constitute one of the world's leading resources for high-technology systems. AeroVironment is a Southern California-based company that supplies the U.S. military with most of its small drones. The company is also in the business of making home chargers and fast chargers for electric vehicles. This company has been around since 1971 and is publicly traded under the ticker AVAV. Of course, this list wouldn't be complete without the defense giants Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing, all of which are in the drone business. They also donate heavily to the Drone Caucus, and with good reason. Since 2005, the federal government has awarded at least $12 billion in contracts for drones and drone supplies and maintenance. The Teal Group, an aerospace and defense consulting firm, expects the worldwide drone market to almost double over the next decade, from the current worldwide expenditures of $6.6 billion to $11.4 billion. And this has been the Tech Report. I'm Deborah Borchardt for The Street.